Ik heb mijn club of zo. Nick, listen. You've been in my house 10 seconds and you're already pissing me off. If I wanted a comedian, I would have hired one. We're here to get the job done and then you go. That's it. You got it. I don't want to choke. Good. Now, can I get you a glass of water or something? Yeah, yeah, good. Before we do the video, I need you to sign something for me. Uh, yeah, what is it? It's like a non-disclosure agreement. Uh, yeah, I'll sign. Right, do me a favour, sign there. But before you do, I need to tell you something. This video, what happens here tonight, is going to change your life. It's going to change my life. And it's going to change the whole fucking world. I need to know that everything I tell you and everything we do tonight, everything you film, everything you witness, will stay between me and you and you do not leave these walls. This is between me and you only and no information can be leaked at all anywhere. I'll kill you myself and I promise that if any information gets out of you I need to know I can trust you. Can I? Yeah, alright, yeah. Alright Nick, go and get the bed sheets. Oh Nick. If I see you on your phone, I'm gonna smash you.
Hello everyone, we are in Informatica. This will be the first of many videos that will be broadcast around the world on our televisions and our social media sites that we, the public, seem to be enslaved to. By this morning, every newspaper outlet and TV news stations will receive documents hidden from government officials containing countless names of politicians who have molested and abused children. And also, a nice little document of all the bankers have been robbing us blind for over a decade. <laughs> Trust me, you guys weren't easy to hack. Now I know what you're all thinking. Who is this guy? He's a terrorist. A menace to society. These are the words you'll be seeing tonight on the news stations. Because the news is owned by the establishment that supports this tyranny and oppression. A menace to society? I'll tell you something. Society is a menace to itself. Society has us believing in these fake pseudo realities, these ridiculous talent shows where people are rewarded, not because of their talent, but because of their image. So we buy up their image like it's public prostitution, and these reality shows brainwashing us into a global trance of fakeness. We as people of the world have been lobotomized into electronic zombies. We are slaves by our own connections to our own devices. No wonder this is a collapse. We buy things we don't need to look like the people who don't even know we exist and for what? But, I have the answer. We rise up against the establishment, against the councils, the state, the networks, the governments, the whole damn world if we have to. This is our time, so let's take back what is rightfully ours. We the public keep the country on its feet. It's our people who are dying in those wars, and we are the ones who pay our taxes to keep the bigger people in their houses while they rob us blind, and they say we're the ones who scrounge and scrum off the tax man. How can we trust these people who order the deaths of innocent children in cities we've never even heard of before? He says, we're all in this together. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. It's black and white out there, people. Rich and poor. That's all there is. So do we just fall over and wait to die? No. The people. That is what we are. So join us. Goodbye. Well, um, you can't really blame the public for acting in this way because they've been lied to for this long. We've all been lied to for this long. However, I think the group Informatica are heroes, actually. Um, whether it's a man or a woman who's done this, we don't know. Um, I think they're heroes. However, I do think there is a fine line between reasoning and having a voice and the actions of the actions and consequences of violence which sadly is occurring in these riots.